Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator Classic, aka Railworks. Today we're going to be taking a look at a relatively new release from Caledonia Works. Uh, this is the LNER Thompson B1 460s. These were a mixed traffic medium locomo uh, medium weight locomotive designed by Edward Thompson for the LNER, uh, built between 1942 and 1952, the total of 410 being produced. <coughs> they are twin cylinder locomotives, again built for mixed traffic, so freight, passenger, whatever. Uh, they were survived until 1961 through 1967 when they started being withdrawn from service uh, two locomotives have been preserved with the remainder being scrapped now This locomotive was LNER's equivalent to the highly successful GWR Hall class in the LMS Stainer Black 5. However, it had the additional requirement of having to be cheap because due to wartime and post-war economies, the LNER did not have the money. So, comparatively speaking, these locomotives are going to be on par around with... Uh, those two locomotives named the Black Fives and the Halls, which we also do have in game. So not an absolute powerhouse, but not a slouch either. And it'll certainly pick up and run. And <coughs> this is not the first time that we've seen this locomotive in game. Uh, it was flounded around some years ago, I believe when the Woodhead route was new. Um, one produced by RSC which I do have back here for a little bit of a comparison and contrast. Uh, and you know, it wasn't half bad for its day way back when. Uh, but compared to Caledonia Works' work, it's without a doubt noticeably older. And definitely of a different quality. And it's very painfully obvious. And the locomotives do not seem to be a perfect carbon copy of each other. Uh, as to what is true and what is not on these locomotives, you can well certainly tell that the tender is different between, uh, between the two. Now that might just be because the coal is piled up in a very different place, but it definitely looks a little bit different. But yeah, so old versus new. The Caledonia models are definitely better looking. You are going to get a plethora of locomotives in the pack. Unfortunately, I cannot place them all down to show you guys because my game is notorious for out of memory errors. And these are, without a doubt, one of those models that will absolutely provide an out of memory error. But you'll get a plethora of locomotives in VR and LNER schemes, pre-war, post-war, uh, transitional period, uh, black, apple green, line black, line whatever, and you'll get the preserved locomotives in their individuality. Uh, number sixty-one three oh six here. Which why at a distance the numbers do what they do I don't know. Like on the cab here, the 1 and the 0 very blurred out, the lower portions of the 6 very blurred out, while the 3 is very, very noticeable. I don't know why they do that. But you'll get uh, the preserved locomotives as they sit today, and how's the, as they have operated. Uh, 1306 is a little bit of a fictional character. It is named Mayflower even though it never carried the name Mayflower in operation. But that nameplate will appear on a locomotive if it is that number. Which the preserved locomotive is. 
You'll also get 1264 in its various paint schemes. And then you'll get the uh, the not so preserved locomotives. The nameplates will change depending on the number. The numbers are dynamic, and again, there are a plethora of models or uh, paint schemes. Now, I don't believe much really changes across the mo uh, across the eras. Uh, I think it's mostly just the paint schemes that change. The sounds are definitely the same. So we are going to be using number 61306 in its preserved apple green state for our test dummy today. Now the detail is absolutely wonderful. The texturing is really good. I mean they do a really good job overall. Definitely a very nice model. Even the coal load looks pretty decent. I mean, it's, it's a good looking locomotive. Oh yeah, unfortunately, I don't believe the, the reverse gear functions. Which isn't terribly surprising. Uh, CW doesn't quite go into animated detail depth like some of the other uh, prominent developers, but they do still do a pretty darn good job. So inside the cab, pretty darn good looking look uh, locomotive. Texturing looks all right. I'm not particularly fond of weathering, but I say that in just about all of my videos. Weathering doesn't really float my boat. Now uh, this being the preserved example, it's going to have bells, buttons, and whistles uh, that the in-service locomotives do not have. I don't believe anyway. I don't. Now nah, nah, I say that and I'm going to come over here and be wrong. But I didn't notice things like the, la the lights on the non-preserved locomotives. Maybe I lied. Maybe I'm just an idiot and don't remember. It's been a few days since I ran this locomotive. I won't lie. Maybe I'm just crazy. But there are lots of bells and buttons and whistles to play with. We got our roof. Our fireman's window. Driver's window. This has flower. Who oh, could this be? Let's go ahead and check our track real quick. Be sure that we can... Uh, Get out on the road without running into anything important. Let's see if we got water scoop. Oh, they didn't make this a cap light. It's always enjoyable when they do that. We get a handbrake. <laughs> Fireman injector. Probably a driver injector up there. Go over and see. There is a bead. Got our train brake. Got our blower. Driver. Fireman water injectors. Fireman's window. We don't get any of those, we don't get any of those, of course, throttle, firebox, dampers. Hmm, that's interesting. The dampers make funny, uh, funny noises. Control R is an auto fireman, it's a very basic auto fireman, but it does work. Uh, you do have to still pay attention to your water and whatnot. Of course, a brake inject or ejector there. AWS override for loops that have it. 
Roof lock. Front sander. And that should be it. Of course, it'll whistle. Cab light. Yeah, none of these others. Not half bad. Cylinder cocks are on the fireman side. Push control one, two, three, four. We'll change your headlight codes. aren't horrible. I mean, they're just kind of little yellowish dots. They don't really look like they emit much light-wise. It's kind of, kind of an odd issue. I'm not going to lie, it's not an issue I've ever really come across. Control 1, change your head codes as well. So you get through all the headlight codes. different headboards or headboard codes. Whistle doesn't sound half bad. It is unfortunately looped, so it's got like a two, three second loop there. Sad times. But it does really move on the outside, that's kind of cool. Control space will play a two. Oh yeah, I like it, Jeff Sound. I like it a lot. It's, it's got that nice steam locomotive bark with a wide open throttle. I like it. Oh, 
flies it through, he flies his stage. Because the stage doesn't really doesn't really stretch. Ah oh, well, yeah. That's fine. Let's let it go. Definitely like the sounds. Really like the sounds. Everything moves and runs real smooth. Fireman does work in the government, so be there. Not expect that. Let's see, there is gauge oscillation, which is pretty nice. Slow down a fair bit. Otherwise, I'll slam right through here. Yeah, especially that corner. Anywho, sounds are real nice. Definitely like those. Let's go ahead and start, uh, start giving us some breaks here. So we don't end up slamming through there. Oh goodness, my computer is crying. I don't know why. Eee, don't like that smoke at all. Look at that, black cotton balls. That doesn't look half bad. I slowed down a little more than I intended to. Granted, I think up here about 20, 25 is what it's supposed to be, but... The advanced steam scripting is very much newer. Pretty darn nice. It's a lot more, uh more of an advanced model than a lot of their older stuff. It's pretty nice. Oh yeah, really like those sounds. Those are really nice. Good sound and locomotive. usual fashion. There's lots of cab views with a, uh, a CW model, which is really nice.
Oh goodness, high intensity lamp. Didn't find that one until now. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Way, way better model than the uh than the old one. But anywho, there it is guys, the Thompson B1 from Caledonia Works. Absolutely phenomenal model. I love it. I think they did a banger job on it. Definitely go check it out. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive than uh, their older packs. It's about on par with uh, typical DLC of today. About 22-ish US dollars. 20 euros. Somewhere around that area. Which you, do, you can get it at about 20 bucks. They do do sales fairly often. Uh, but definitely go check it out. I recommend it. I think it's pretty cool. Link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.